So with Battlefield 4 we're trying to build the biggest, the ultimate battlefield you could say, the most, most complete. We have a concept of levolution that brings the, the world to, to life. We have the new amphibious assault with storming seas. We have improved team play with Commander and we're also bringing now for the first time on console 60 FPS, 64 players, which is a new era for Battlefield and console. Battlefield has always been about no compromises. Uh, and when it comes to, for the first time, being able to deliver 64 players on a PlayStation 4, uh, means to us that we finally managed to deliver what the audience wanted for so long. It creates these moments that we like to say only in Battlefield, Battlefield moments. We create experiences, but we don't dictate what they're supposed to be. It's up to you. So what really strikes me with the new controller is that the L2, R2 buttons are so much more responsive, tactile. You're in the heat of a battle, it's, it's do or die, and I think it's really going to make a difference. With the new controller, we're also taking good use of the gyros, so we now have the lean feature to allow you to be, to be a bit more tactical or sneaky on the battlefield instead of exposing your whole body, allow yourself to lean out to take a take a shot and go back and to the extent where we also use it for looking around when you're in vehicles, you know, flying your helicopter and being able to, to scan uh, the airspace around you. A lot of nifty things that we see players will have good use of when they're out on the battlefield. It's, it's a very broad game. You can do team deathmatch, each man for, on their own, or you can go the full extent to conquest uh, commander mode where we now introduce the commander. So we have one commander on each side, they have a bird's eye view of the battlefield, and they have important intel and important powerful assets at their disposal to, to basically push their team, support their team to tilt uh, the war in their favor. As a commander, it's not only that you're on your PlayStation 4 while you're in-game or join the server as a commander, but you can also bring up your, your iPad or your Android tablet and join in as a commander. Being a commander on a tablet is to me a true next-gen experience. So having been part of Battlefield since the very first prototype back in 1999, I mean, looking back, water has kind of gotten diminished over the years. We've had it, but to be honest, many times it's been a flat surface. It's a nice place to start at, but most people just want to get off the water and get inland and start fighting. We took the inspiration from early battlefield where you had tanks on sand dunes, uh, and basically how you try to outsmart the other tank to come around and fire in the back where they're weaker. So we applied the same thinking when we did this network water, build our boats, uh, to see how can people take advantage of this and, and where previously it was a stale surface, we now created a very dynamic sample. On PlayStation 3 we will be rolling out on the 29th of October and on the next generation PlayStation 4 will be coming this holiday. So it's exciting times and I'm really looking forward to see you all on the battlefield. PlayStation.